Monday, September 2nd, 2019. Happy Labor Day to everybody. Uh, it's about, I don't know, probably around 9 a.m. We're going to make a quick update on Dorian. Now the model has changed slightly and it's not looking good for the entire U.S. East Coast. Look at this riding all the way up, impacting the entire coast from Central Florida up. Now we'll look at the total precept model. And as you can see, that's impacting the entire coast. Now we'll take a look at, because this thing was steamrolling straight west. And then something happened last night. Like it looks like an out of balance tire. It just starts wobbling like a top. It was hit with something. It made it change direction. Now we can kind of see this on the mimic map. Go forward here. Right there. And knocked it north. See that? Okay, now we'll take a look at the uh, this one more time so we can see it. Lose its start wobbling. This is the shortwave infrared. All right, now we'll take a look at the most recent visible feed as the sun comes up. And once again, we see the eye wall for category five is not void of clouds and is not calm. And it looks like it has lost some momentum. I, I don't know if they're still, what they're claiming this storm is still cat five or what, but maybe I should load uh, infrared and look at the water vapor depth on this. We'll let that load. Take a look at the geo collar imagery. Radar. Now, these radars in Florida did not bloom up yesterday, or last night, rather. It rained here last night, thanks to all the spraying that I covered in the last video. Here's the most recent imagery. And now we'll go back and look at the water vapor depth. Yeah, you can see it isn't that high. That high or that hot. So if they're still claiming this is a cat five, they're full of shit. But anyways, that about covers it. Uh, just a quick update this morning. We will check back in at a later date.